Welcome to the League of Legends Patch Preview. I'm Freak and I'm here with Morello, Lead Champion Designer. Together, we'll be discussing some of the gameplay changes coming into the next update for League of Legends. Note that this video does not cover every single change, but will explain the thought process behind some of our decisions. We're changing one of the masteries in the offense tree, removing the critical strike mastery and replacing it with attack damage per level. How come? The critical chance mastery was letting people win matchups in their lane just by getting a random lucky crit. The major issue with this is that they're getting it just by going in 21 offense, something a lot of characters want to do anyway. The other ways to get critical chance this early in the game require significant trade-offs, for example, giving up armor penetration or attack damage on the runes, or not buying as many defensive or laning items early in the game. The new mastery is balanced to be on par power-wise with the old critical mastery, but without the random issues we used to run into. We are keeping the critical damage mastery. It's really not part of what's causing the problem, and it's a really fun stat, so we don't see any reason to take it away. We have a pretty significant tweak to Jax's Counter-Strike in the next patch. We're increasing the duration to 2 seconds, but letting him end the effect early to bring out the stun. Additionally, while it's active, he'll take reduced damage from area of effect attacks. Why are we making this change to Jax? Allowing Jax to deactivate his Counter-Strike early is going to allow him to have a more reliable stun. This means he can use it in a lot more cases instead of just having to charge it up before a leap strike. Jax also has a new choice to make with this is, do I keep my damage reduction up longer or do I stun? This is something that will really increase the skill cap on Jax. Jax's damage needs some time to kind of build up and ramp up before he can reach his maximum potential. We've given him AoE damage reduction to allow him to survive in teamfights long enough to reach that maximum potential. Lee Sin has a nerf coming in the next patch. He's gaining less attack speed than before from his passive, and the execute damage on Resonating Strike is going down to 8% of the target's missing health. Why the Lee Sin nerf, and why are we nerfing these areas? Lee Sin's been a dominant jungler for quite a while now. A lot of this is because Lee Sin could just stack AD, where a lot of other junglers would want to rune or itemize for attack speed as well. The passive attack speed bonus was just a little too much, especially when Lee Sin would stack that attack damage early game. The execute damage on Lee Sin's Resonating Strike was really the only damage he had that scaled on his opponents as opposed to himself. We want Lee Sin players to build damage to get damage, and the change to Resonating Strike will help encourage that more. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends Patch Preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.